I'm filming this the day the day of or the day after the day after the JJK T61 leaked. How are you feeling? I'm perfectly fine. I wasn't upset last night at all. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to our channel. It's Taylor. As you can tell by the title today, we're going to be reviewing and testing out the Pokemon ColourPop collab. I'm really excited for this palette. If you guys like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, check out our kawaii and anime makeup brand. That's all for the intro. Let's get started. This is what the palette looks like. This was $30. I was so confused on why it was $30. I was like, oh, maybe just because of the, of the brand is $30. But then I realized when I got it, it's the size. For comparison, this is the Twilight palette, which I thought was the biggest palette. Compared to the, to the Pokemon palette. And then compared to the Sailor Moon palette. For this palette, I think they did a really good job with like the design aspect and the color story. To me, it's giving very much Pokemon Gen 1. You guys don't know, I'm a really big Pokemon fan, so... Yeah, I was pleasantly surprised to see that it actually looks nice because I don't know if like some of the other palettes in the past, Twilight and the Sailor Moon palette, they were on brand but not like really on brand which I've mentioned in both of my review videos. Also, I love the names. I'll put them up here so you guys can see them and they'll be next to them when I swatch them. It's a Super Shock Ultra Glitter. I got mine in the shade Hydro Pump. And then for the blush, I got the purple one. I've never tried a purple blush. So I'm gonna try this is in the shade Hypnosis. Looks like it has some Psychotech Pokemon. Are they psychic or are they just purple? They're just purple, never mind. Just purple Pokemon. They're not psychic. They could have been all purple. They could have been all purple psychic type Pokemon though. I can aim four right now. Can I though? I'm gonna prep my eyes with the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Concealer. I think I'm going to go for something purpley blue. I was just going to do purple, but then I was like, well, I brought this, so I might as well use it. So something purple and blue, we'll see. Also, comment down your favorite episode of Pokemon or your least favorite episode. I wouldn't say this is my least favorite episode, but I don't know what the name of it is. The one where Ash is trying to get the badge from Sabrina. Sabrina has always creeped me out. The episode is a kid. Like, I'll, I'll still watch it, just, she just, she just weird. My favorite episode might be the Island of the Giant Pokemon. That one, I don't know if this is the same episode, but the one where, like, the, like, the Pokemon get lost, I like that episode, too. That, that sounds, that, that sounds really bad, but if you watch it, then, then you know, wow. Or tell me your least favorite, your favorite or least favorite Pokemon character. For me, favorite, might be kind of biased, but... Ash, Misty, and Dawn. Least favorite. Lily. She she just got on she got on my nerves. That's why I literally stopped watching Sun and Moon because I couldn't stand her. I just even in the games, she just she wasn't doing it. She was so annoying. I think I'm gonna take the shade Trainer's Path and just see where that goes. Let's, let's see what path it takes me because I don't know what I'm doing. I really don't know. Yeah, I really like it. I'm sorry if I'm very rambly. I don't know. I just like talking today. I, like, I don't really talk to you guys that much. So, yeah. If you guys have any questions about me or the channel or about Kentaya, I'll make her answer them. Yeah, just leave some questions down if you guys want to know anything. Next, I'm going to take the shade Fuchsia City and blend that into the crease a little bit. There's one called Lavender. Why, why am I surprised? There's one called Lavender Town. Oh, I like Lavender. Mm, no, I don't. I'm more lying to you guys. I don't, I don't like Lavender Town. Anytime I play a game that has that one, I turn, this, I turn the sound off. If you know, you know. I'm going to pack that. Wow, that's actually more pigmented than I thought it was going to be. It reminds me of that one pressed pigment they had for the festival collection in 2019. Okay. I feel like sometimes with like pinks like this, they don't really blend. This one. Yeah, I like it so far. 
Okay, now I'm gonna take the shade Lavender Town. I sort of have an idea what I wanna do. I don't know if it's gonna work. So far, Lavender Town has the least amount of kick kickback that I've tried so far. Ooh, that is really pretty, okay. We're gonna see if my vision comes flat or not. I think these with the white base will look so pretty too. Now I'm taking the shade drying pan. I'm gonna pack that right next to it. I'm gonna have to use my finger. Yeah, I'm gonna have to use my finger. Oh, it's giving Gengar. It's giving shiny Gengar, if you will. Yeah, this on a brush is not working. I'm gonna have to switch to my finger. For some reason I can't blend it right in that spot. I ha There's always a part of my eye where shadow does not wanna blend. I feel like I'm taking away some of the purpley pink, but again, I probably should use a white base so it can stick better. Or something a little more tacky, or I just used a concealer, so. I'm gonna take the, what shade was that? I'm gonna take Lavender Town and build it back up. I'll be back, cause the camera's dying. Now I'm using the Super Shock in the shade Hydro Pump. I'm gonna try with the brush first. If not, I'm gonna switch over to my finger again. I feel like, oh, oh. Okay, never mind. I thought I was gonna have to switch over to my finger. This works a lot better. Because it's a glitter and not a traditional, a traditional super shock. I'm gonna do the other eye and then do my base off camera, do my lower lash line, and then we'll try the blush. We're gonna do the blush, but before that, the super shock. Um, it, was, it didn't really blend on the lower lash line the way I wanted it to. I don't know, I don't really like that. But so far, I like it. Like it's getting very like, like spacey, galaxy, crystal, Pokemon crystal, if you will. Yeah, let's test the blush. I'm gonna do one side with a sponge and one side with a brush. The sponge I'm using is from our brand Moonlight Rose Cosmetics. This is our Boba Mochi sponge. You guys wanna check it out into a little picture right here. Yeah, I'm just gonna dab it into the thing and see if it picks it up. I don't think it's picking it up. So maybe not. Mm. Okay, that's a little bit better. It looks really nice from what I can see so far. I'm gonna try the other side with the brush. I mean, it stained the sponge. Let's use a brush. I'm using a elf angle blush brush. That might be better. Watch me have too much on there now. Okay, no. This looks like every other blush that I own so far. I like it though. Um, yeah, it's cute. It reminds me of the next one I always use in the shade red, in the shade red riot. Oh, why is this? Ew. It has this weird smell. I smelled the smell before. I don't know what it is. I don't like the way that this smells. Do do they all smell like this? Do all the cream blush, blushes, do all the cream blushes smell like this? It smells like a beach ball, like kind of like a beach ball. I don't know. This smells an absolute no. No. The color, it's, it's good. What's the smell? Oh my god, color pop. I'm just gonna finish up my face and come back with my final thoughts and fix my hair. I just stuck my lash on and it's already coming off. Anyway, this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Final thoughts really quickly before we wrap up. Um, the palette, the palette, um, 10 out of 10. Highly recommend it. I love the shades that I use so far. Obviously, there's still 20 more shades that I can use. The only shade I didn't particularly enjoy is this one, Drying Pan. I feel like it didn't blend the way I wanted to make because I was putting it on top of a like a colored a colored shadow like a colored my well, purple and pinks are hard to blend maybe that's why I could, and then I put it on top of there I think if I used it by itself like all over the lid it'd be really pretty and fine this I would get um the super shock I would also get maybe not don't use it for the lower lash line it didn't really blend that well the blush is 
I love Gengar. The blush, skippable. If you already have purple blushes or any like pinky, burgundy, purpley blushes, you don't need it. And the smell, it's just this, it's, again, it smells like a beach ball. I don't know what's going on. It has a very strong scent. Um, I feel like this might stay all day because it's, I don't know, I feel like you did a good job. This is the most skippable product. I wouldn't pick this up. I want to pick up the Electro Ball shade too. I don't think I will unless they somehow change the formula. Maybe mine is just bad. It has a weird smell. Yeah, those are my final thoughts. Hope you guys enjoyed. You guys want to see me using this palette again or using different looks. Let me know and I'll film something from my Instagram or in TikTok. Yeah, so that's all for the video and bye guys.